bit scary. Hello my little liblings and welcome back to my channel. I am Arpita and I stay in Germany. I have an itchy foot and so I love traveling, planning itineraries and documenting the interesting places I visit. If this video helps you, please like this video by clicking on the thumbs up button below and do subscribe to my channel for more such itineraries and travel tips. For now, Los Gates! We started our journey from Hamburg in Germany and it took us around 3 hours to reach Wernigerode. We are in Wernigerode today, Wernigerode city and it is part of central Germany and also part of the Hatz mountain district. Uh, it's a bit chilly and windy but here we are and we are going to brave it so let's go. We are at the Wernigerode Hauptbahnhof and this is there from where you can get your tickets for the steam Narogod steam railway as you can see there's one train waiting there. It is better to take the tickets online or prior to the day you take your train because there's quite a rush and, and especially on weekends so you might miss it. We stayed in a very cute apartment in Alstadt and it was quite affordable too. Venigehode is often called the Pearl of the Hats and a visit to this stunning medieval town makes it quite evident why. A hilltop castle that doesn't shy away from a good loom, nostalgic steam trains chugging up the mountains, gorgeous architecture and abundant of interesting stories and legends make it a perfect weekend destination. One of the main reasons to visit this stunning medieval town, however, was not just the narrow gauge stream train, but also the spooky yet interesting stories that surround this town. I will tell you more about it later in the vlog. But for now, let's start our journey in the steam train. Hats narrow gauge railway constitutes the longest network of narrow gauge railway in the country and connects many major and smaller towns in the Hats region, including Wernigerode. The scenic train ride up to the highest peak of Hats mountain Brocken can be unanimously agreed to be the highest point of the trip. The only way up the mountain is either taking the steam train from Wernigerode or walking or also by bus up to Scheike. This was one of the most scenic and awe-inspiring journeys I have ever had. A tip from me would be to board the first train since it's usually empty as most of them might be doing their breakfast and so you get to enjoy more. One could rightly say when the journey is better than the destination. But now it's time for the spooky stories. Brocken has always played a role in legends and has been connected with witches and devils. One of these legends tell that in the night of April 30 to May 1st, witches came together at the top of the Brocken so they could meet the devil and perform magic spells. Good news is there is a restaurant at the top of Brocken and where we are having coffee. It is said that even today you can still meet the mystical witches on the mountain. However, we didn't get to see any, but it was so cold and foggy, who knows, they might have walked right past us. This liquid gold is a must if you are visiting Hats, also because it tastes amazing. To know more about Brocken and how to get tickets for the steam train, you will find a dedicated vlog in the caption below. Next, we walked to the town hall which was built in 1420 and is one of the most significant pieces of architecture in Wernigerode. It towers over the bustling market square and wins hearts with its soaring towers, renaissance bay windows, stained glass and the lovely entrance portal. 
you can also take the free guided tour in the city and we couldn't take it but i've heard some amazing reviews about it we had no plans to come here but we did We are at the entrance of the Schloss and it's usually closed on Mondays. Today is not a Monday, today is Saturday but uh, we decided to not go in because it's quite late and we want to also walk back. So not going in but I saw in the pictures that it's beautiful and you can totally go inside. But I really came for the view and I'm currently looking for a place where I can view the entire city because this is also the highest point of Venigehode. So we decided to take a bit adventurous route. Also, it's a bit scary. Day two, and we have come to. Elbingerode, which is uh, the next stop from Venigehode. It's this place called Rubeland Talsperre. This is world's biggest pedestrian suspension bridge right here in Hats Mountains. The record-breaking structure stretches more than 450 meters across the Rabbode Dam. all shaky shots on this bridge because it it really shakes a lot we also climbed a tower to get a bird's eye view you can try some of the adventure sports here like zip lining etc We also walked on the dam to capture some gorgeous views of the dam. I highly recommend you to visit this place because it is just half an hour away from Venigehode and makes for a perfect half day trip. Like every other place in Germany, you have to pay the tourist tax but you get these coupons and you can redeem them while traveling in the buses like we did. I hope you found this video informative and if you did, please like and subscribe and don't forget to share it with your friends and make that trip happen. Until next time, cheers!